Hello, First Baptist Church family. I am so excited to be um, a part of this daily devotions that we're going to be doing together using the Stepping Forward um, book, Walk Through Ephesians, by our own pastor, Mike Lingenfelter. Yes. Um, I'm going to be doing day one, which it, the passage that we're using is Ephesians 1, 1 through 6. And I'm just going to go ahead and start by reading this passage. And then we'll talk a little bit about it. So Ephesians 1, 1 through 6. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, to the saints who are at Ephesus and who are faithful in Christ Jesus, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ, just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we would be holy and blameless before him. In love, he predestined us to adoption as sons through Jesus Christ to himself, according to the kind intention of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, which he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. So I have read this um, devotion a couple of times just to make sure that I'm super familiar with it and I, I get like the points that um, he's trying to come across. So we're just gonna go through the insights that he wrote and then we'll just talk a little bit about how it can apply to ourselves. So Paul was in prison whenever he wrote this to the saints of Ephesus and nothing could hold him back from sharing um, this with these Gentile believers. Um, and just to quote a, a, a piece of the, pat, the, the insights from pastor here, there was too much to know, too much to see, and the apostle desired that these believers grasp the reality of their new faith. This letter began by explaining the spiritual blessings given to the believers. So, um, we're just going to be looking at two blessings today that are vitally important to know and absolutely wonderful to rest in. The first one is that he chose us individually to be spotless for him. What a privilege this is that he chose us. Our sin is so ugly. It is so stinky and it looks like death. And yet he decided this and he took the steps to make it happen. He stepped into our life whenever we were too weak to um, do this for ourselves. And so the next blessing that it talks about in this passage is that the Father has adopted us as his own family. It is certain that we have been adopted and we cannot take that lightly. Like be very careful to not be taking that lightly or taking it for granted. Our Heavenly Father wants us and we need to live according to that. Another quote from the book on this, on this um, insight from Pastor. Our gracious, loving, and kind, compassionate Father in heaven has chosen to clean sinners like us and welcome us into his house to sit at his table, to bask in his light and live with him for all eternity. What a breathtaking blessing our Heavenly Father has freely bestowed upon us. So how do we know that we have received these blessings? Is your faith in Jesus? Is he your Lord and Savior? If so, you have, and it will take an eternity to comprehend it. So as a challenge for the believers, after reading this and understanding this passage, do you take for granted the blessings that he has given you? Today is a good day to consider how small and just breakable we are without him and how much we need him. If it weren't for him choosing you and adopting you, where would you even be today? Take the time today to thank him for what he's done for you. And another quote from this insight. <clears throat> Humble yourselves before his throne of grace and spend quality time in worship of the God in heaven who has made you spotless in his son and placed you into his family. Put you in his house and set you at his table. It's so wonderful and such an amazing thing to consider this morning for us. 
also today just to reflect on what we've read here in this passage and then pastor's insights. Um, what is God saying to us right now, individually? What's God saying to you? What's God saying to me? For me, I just feel like literally nothing else matters. The only reason that I exist is to serve God. The only reason I exist is because he chose me and he adopted me and he wants me. He wants a relationship with me and I need to serve him. So how should I respond to that? How should you respond to whatever your answer may be of what God is speaking to you right now? For me, I want to prioritize serving God above all else. I want it to be more important to me. Like there's a lot of things in this world that I love a lot and I prioritize. One is my family and I don't think that's wrong, but I have to prioritize God above my family. One is sleep. Love me some sleep, but it's not as important as waking up and meeting with God in the morning before my day gets going or spending some time, some quiet time with him at some point throughout the day. Um, it's just not as important. And other things I absolutely love that I have to put God above is like food. Love, love food. Like I, I, everything that we do revolves around what we're going to eat. But like, I always take a moment and thank God for this food. Please bless it to the good of our bodies. Um, I prioritize God above that. And I want to do that every day. It's a challenge every single day. It's a struggle every single day to prioritize him above everything because of the things that he's done for me um that we've learned about in his word and it's so worth it there's nothing more important anyways that's all that i have for you guys today i hope you enjoy it i think that this is going to be super fun to just see um how we can interact with each other over these devotions and i definitely look forward to um watching the future ones. Thanks so much. Have a blessed day.